What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. And today, this review is gonna be something new to me, something a little bit different. I've never actually reviewed a monitor before, but when BenQ hit me up and they asked me if I wanted to try out the new SW321C, I was like, sure, why not? Now this monitor is specifically targeted at photographers given the fact that they've really focused on the fact that it's perfectly calibrated right from the factory. Uh, they're really proud of this and they even give you printouts. I've got all the reports here from the calibration they did. Um, it's basically just a bunch of charts going through the Delta E and basically all the settings and things that they tested on this monitor to make sure it was perfect before it left the factory. Anyway, it's a 32 inch 4K 10 bit IPS display with 100% sRGB and Rec. 709 color gamuts, 99% Adobe RGB color gamut, 95% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, as well as HDR10 and HLG. So this monitor is also great for color grading video as well, given the fact that you can also switch it to Rec. 709. When it comes to the overall design and build of the monitor, it's clearly well built. The stand is super heavy duty. It has a full height and tilt. Uh, as well as you can actually do portrait rotation as well. The weight with the stand is 26 pounds, so you can tell it's got some heft. I wouldn't call it the most beautiful looking monitor design. It's got some pretty thick bezels, but I think it's kind of built around that office industrial industry standard look design that you see in a million offices. I also think the bezels are bigger to hold the included hood. Now I wouldn't normally rock a hood on my monitor, but in an open room like this, it's kind of nice to have because it keeps down the glare from all the windows and it also helps improve image contrast. The hood is easy to clip on and off and it's lined in velvet, it's really well made. There's a trap door on the top where you can actually drop down a calibration tool. That said, one of the best things about this monitor is the coating that they have on the screen. Uh, it does a really awesome job at keeping the glare and reflections down. I did a test shining my flashlight right into it and you can see that it hardly has any reflection at all. This also helps with keeping kind of a nice rich contrast and vibrant colors that you kind of lose with a matte screen. All right, so coming around to the back, looking at the IO that this monitor has, it has two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display port 1.4, one USB-C 3.2, two USB-A 3.1s and one USB 3.1B. Also beside those two USB-A ports, you also get an SD card reader, which is really nice. Now when you're using a single USB-C cable from like a MacBook, like I'm using right here, it can run at 4K 60 FPS and it also supplies 60 watts of power to the MacBook to keep it charged. And I know that's lower than the brick that comes with the MacBook Pro, which is around 87 watts, but I found even running like a heavy session in Premiere, the battery never really dipped below 95% and it was actually able to keep the battery at around 95% charged while having a heavy load on it. So it's super awesome to have just one cable connected to the MacBook that you can actually run your video signal, power to the MacBook Pro, run the USB ports, as well as the SD card reader. Although I wanna make it known if you're running at 4K 60 FPS through that USB-C port, you're gonna get reduced speed on your USB ports and the SD card reader just cause there's not enough bandwidth. You can change it in the monitor and set it to uh, only 30 frames per second, so 30 Hertz, and then you'll get more bandwidth out of those USB ports. So I wanna talk more about the image quality and more importantly about the color. So BenQ has this new uniformity technology uh, alongside AQ color technology. Uh, essentially it's just um, from edge to edge you're gonna have the exact same color and contrast and brightness. And that's something you don't always get on cheaper monitors. It's not always perfect across the entire uh, monitor and all the different zones that are backlit. And BenQ has really put a lot of emphasis in these SW models which is why Comes with a validation printout that I showed earlier. Uh, it's also Kalman and Pantone verified, which is awesome for graphic designers. But uh, yeah, let's talk about this remote that's under the monitor. They call it a hotkey puck. And you can have up to three assignable modes as well as access the menu and options. It's super nice if you wanna you know, change color spaces on the fly, you can do that just with you know, a push of the button. So say if I'm editing images, I can have it set to sRGB and then if I'm gonna do some grading or editing in Premiere, I can quickly switch it to Rec. 709. And there's also a dial knob in the middle which you can change to whatever you want. I have it set to the brightness right now. So basically in a scenario like this during the day, I can have it set to 100%. Uh, crank the brightness up and then at night if I want to bring it down so I'm not blinding myself I can turn the brightness down just with a twist of a knob. Now if you're big into print the paper color sync option is super handy as well so if you're a wedding photographer and you're printing out photos for clients you can basically switch it into this mode and it's going to give you an image that looks close to something that would be actually printed out. Now I haven't really proved this because I don't really have anything that I've currently printed 
but I do have a shot I printed a few months ago. So I'm gonna grab that and we can kind of compare it here and see what it looks like. Okay, so I got the image popped up here. I have the printout here of this exact image. Anyway, maybe this is a bad example, but it kind of shows you, and it is pretty similar. Anyway, in paper color sync, it kind of gives you sort of an idea of what you would expect to see in a printout. And yeah, it looks it looks pretty close. It's probably more close than looking at like an sRGB image and then printing it out. All right, so that is a look at this awesome monitor. I would say that it's not for everyone. It's definitely for those in the professional world doing photo editing, photo retouching, video editing, graphic design, where you basically need the most utmost accurate color then I would say this is an essential piece of hardware for your studio or your office. Um, it's an investment. It's something that's gonna last you a long time and improve your workflow. It's not cheap, it comes in at around 1999, so it's around two grand. But like I said, it's kind of an investment. It's gonna be around for a long time. It's gonna help you get the job done. It's basically future-proofed with you know, all the options and the fact that it's 4K. If you wanna know more about this monitor, I'll put links down in the description, but that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next one.